What's good, YouTube? It's your man, BG Tech Life, and today we got the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra on deck, and today is a case video. Now, shout out to the good folks over at UAG. Today, we got one of their most top-tier cases. They sent it out for your boy to check out. We've done this case before in different materials and things of that nature, but this is the big boy. This is the case that costs a hundred bucks. This is the Monarch Pro with Kevlar. So this is like one of their most expensive cases. One of their dopest cases. As you can see, 25 feet of drop protection, built-in magnets, so work with magnetic accessories, AKA MagSafe. Now, yes, this is an expensive case, but with a case like this, I've had a couple of these cases over the years but this is something that you buy it and forget it once you buy this case if you enter these type of cases you buy it and you got it for the long run it's gonna look good it's gonna protect your phone really good case here let's take a look at the back as you can see we got dupont kevlar reinforced inlay built-in magnet compatibility with magnet accessories aka magsafe handcrafted five layer protection traction grip protective screens around this case is definitely an acquired taste because of the price and the materials if you enter that thing you know these things cost some bread and it's definitely adding protection to your device and lasting for a while but let's just take a look at it shout out to uag for the easy unboxing just slide it out like so and we are blessed with the case as you can see we got the kevlar inlay i mean this is just a unique cool type case to me it's a very rugged very unique utilitarian type build on the case personally i've been rocking with uag for a long time guys i really like that stuff let's just dig into this case now what we got going on here guys is the monarch pro with kevlar as you can see the kevlar going around the uag hex and this is basically your magnetic circle like your magsafe circle right here it's built into this hexagon right here around the uag branding the kevlar itself is really tightly woven and there's not nothing that's gonna come up or be looking like it's gonna come afraid and look bad after a while i like how they kind of got the gloss uag branding in there in the middle of the hexagon the contrast from like the matte black colorway on the back of the case then you have these red accents with the torques really cool utilitarian look like of course the torques don't do anything this case is not screwed together but just a nice cool look and i like the red accents very dope stylized camera cutout this year they actually made a separate camera hole for some of the cameras and this bottom camera at the middle is more of a cutout where you see less of the back of the device but you still do see some of the back of the device maybe next year they come with complete individual camera cutouts and at, at the top you in each corner you can see where the protection kicks in it's really bolstered up as you can see it goes out and over bolstered up in every corner because that's where a lot of times when you drop your device it's gonna hit on the corner so it's nice and bolstered up and ready for the impact as you can see same thing down bottom guys nice and bolstered up sides of this case are really strong and sturdy it's gonna feel nice and tight on your device i've never had a problem with none of the uag cases this year feeling floppy now as you can see this side of the case it is all grip and you know i say grip is the biggest part of drop protection because with that grip you're less likely to drop your device you have grip on this side also and then we get to the button press now i've been loving the button press on all the uag cases this year because they're definitely protruding so they're easy to find with your finger they have symbols i just like that touch you really don't need the symbols but i mean i just think it's a nice touch to add them as like an accent just looks more utilitarian and they got slits in them the slits make it easier for them to be pressed so you have like a natural feeling button press cutouts on the bottom on deck and you got a nice sliding board to your s pen an appropriate cutout on top for the noise canceling mic now as you can see guys this is definitely a good looking case i just wish that they would have did individual camera cutouts so it would be exactly uniform now the colorway my titanium black s24 ultra don't contrast with the black too bad but like let's say if i had a lime green device i would want all this little area to be covered up so you wouldn't see it 
But other than that, just a really good looking case. And this is not one of them cases that add a whole lot of bulk to a device, but adds a lot of protection. As you can see, just bolstered up, really bolstered up for drop protection. Five layers of protection here. The Kevlar inlay is fire. This is a fire touch. Like, this is going to be something. That's an eye catcher, a conversation starter. It's a lot of people in the carbon fiber, Kevlar, Hermes fiber. That's just dope material to have in a phone case the red accents really set it off it's something really cool and unique all cutouts are on deck and right on point especially with the s pen having that little sliding board to get to your s pen that's nice button press is a little stiff not super stiff but just a teeny bit stiff but like i said i like that they protrude them with the symbols but it's not super natural. It does have a little stiffness to it. Out front, this is what you're looking like. You definitely got a raised lip around the front of your display. That's what you want. Nice tight case on the device. Doesn't really add any bulk at all. Not too much bulk. Because if you notice, the bulk is in the corners where it's raised up for the drop protection. And on the sides where I pretty much got my fingers and my thumb, it's still kind of slim and trim there. So definitely a nice job kind of like tailoring the case to the device. Now what we're going to do is test the magnet strength. What I have here, guys, this is what I like to use the MagSafe on the S24 Ultra for. Things like this. Ring holders and kickstand. This is a magnetic ring holder kickstand for your S24 Ultra. So you could watch some content vertically or horizontally. And at the same time, the device could get heavy. You're in the bed, you hold it over your face. You don't want to drop it on your face. Put your finger through the ring holder. But I'm just going to test the magnetic strength. And it matches up exactly with the MagSafe ring, which is not getting in the way of the camera. I don't like putting power banks on the back of the S24 Ultra because they charge slow. And at the same time, they cover this camera. It just doesn't, it's not made. The S24 Ultra wasn't made for that. So when I use MagSafe cases, I like to use stuff like this. And anyway, I like to use wired 45 watt fast charging. But we're just going to check the strength. I'm going to just show you how strong the MagSafe magnet is in the case. So I'm just going to put it on like so. Snaps right on, and I mean, it's on there. It's not going nowhere. Very strong magnet. The device could stay right here like this all day. I could reuse this as a tripod to record myself or anything. But the magnet in this case is really strong, so that's definitely a go. But this is the Monarch Pro with Kevlar for my S24 Ultra. I definitely put a link down in the description if you want to check it out. Shout out to UAG for sending this out. It's your boy BG Tech Life. I'm out. Peace.